Morning guys, how we doing? Welcome to Lee Slot Cars. Shall we start a new build? Yeah, why not? Let's go over to the track, shall we? Here you can see I've got the basic structure for this piece. So I've cut out a bit of 5mm MDF and inserted that in there. I've just put a little border across here. Um, framed the power base, giving it a coat of paint in black. So all this ties in quite nicely. So we've got all the black area here. This is what I'm going to be working on and developing. So the plan is just here, I'm going to have like a low relief. It will be either a cafe or a bar or something like that. Something that sells food or drink and worked out how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do it in or anything. Then we're going to have sort of paving across here. And then I have a step that I've started painting. It needs to dry. That is going to come up just here and that's going to be glued to the side. Then on top of the power base is going to be a large decked area. Now this is just a piece of off cut that I got from Magnetic Racing. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've scored it all to give it uh, the appearance of having planks like a decked area. So this is going to be a big decked terrace that's going to have obviously fencing of some sort around the top and then tables and chairs and people having a beer having a coffee bit of scran sitting there while watching the race fab over here not quite sure i probably will need to have some steps down um i don't know is there room for a little kiosk there maybe i don't know this is all evolving but um i'm liking how it's looking so far because this is going to be quite a big feature when it's all done so the foundations are there i have acquired this piece of land for developing and i've started developing it so i think the next thing i'm going to do is probably paint this because i'm waiting for everything else to dry the paint the black paint to dry and uh, i haven't got loads of time today so i think i'm going to paint this similar to what i've painted well, let me walk over there and show you. So we get this sort of timber effect colour. And I tend to use a bit of slightly darkened yellow ochre. And then run sort of a very sort of diluted browny colour over the top of it. And it gives it a bit of an effect of wood grain. And I'm also hoping by scoring these pieces, if I use a wash afterwards... Um, some of that will embed within the grooves to give it the appearance that there's a slight gap between the planks but we shall wait and see how that turns out so that's probably all I'm going to do today I have got a little strip left of this so I think I'll probably put that in there yeah I will actually I'll put that in there and paint that up as well and then it gives a nice streamline effect so that will get stuck onto there and then uh we'll see how we see where we go from there so let's see uh see how this turns out right so we've had a base coat of um yellow ochre and then i've gone over it with a little bit of this uh, well yeah burnt sienna color <clears throat> but that was done as a very sort of light watery mix and now i've just gone over it with a little bit of whatever color that is mars black which is actually brown but it's a very dark brown and i've just gone over that but it's as you can see it's very it's mixed with water and it just gives it just takes i don't know it just makes it look not so yellow if that makes sense probably doesn't and it looks a bit weathered as well and every now and then i'll dab a bit more of the um burnt sienna as well just so you get the little red highlights i'm not sure how this is actually going to turn out on the camera because from my position it sort of looks looks like wood 
which is what I intended to do when all said and done. I light these little red highlights every now and then. Well, I say red, burnt sienna highlights. And maybe I'll pop some around the corners and, and just mixing it, you know, a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of this Mars black. It's all a blend because, you know, this decking will have been used quite a lot. It'll be a, a well-trodden path. And I think... Look, it even looks like it's a bit of I like the little light specks that are appearing I don't you can probably see it along here and it looks like you know it's been bleached in the sun for a little while or or pedestrian traffic so on so on around the edges as well which I yeah I'm liking this it's almost like a work of art in itself I might just not put it on my out and hang it on the wall and say this is a piece of decking. I might even win a Turner Prize for it. Who knows? God, I do talk some shite, don't I? Sorry about that when I'm painting. But anyway, I think that is done. Pleased with that. Very pleased with that. So, um, I think it's coffee time. And it'll give that a time to dry. And then, the next thing when I come back is to work out what sort of fencing... I'm going to have around the outside because it has to be fenced off because we don't want people falling in the road so yeah coffee time be right back back again so i've been to hobbycraft and now have four lovely new sheets of foam board oh my god i can do some damage with that and now it's all dry this is the decked area which is going to sit on here and this can come off to get to the uh power base underneath that's just going to rest on there so that'll be fine easy to work with got some steps going up there need to touch up the paint on that but that's fine we can get that done so Big decisions on what's going here. I'm going to have a kiosk up here and down here. Does that make sense? Probably not. But I have some of these. So what we're going to have is some of these supports at the back. And then the kiosk will be sort of here and slightly encroaching onto the decked platform. And it will be removable. So it won't be glued to this. It will just stand there. Leaning on that, leaning on two of these supports, maybe four of the supports, don't know yet. Um, and then after that, I'm going to put fencing barriers all the way around. What I'm going to use for that are bamboo skewers. And basically I'm going to have three going across and then supports coming down. And they'll be painted another purchase yesterday. This silver acrylic paint now i don't know i don't doubt whether it will look like silver it'll probably look more like a, a silvery gray but it'll give the effect and it'll look okay um these metal drinking straws make very good lampposts and although yeah the light points up a bit it's not the end of the world i don't want to start heating it up and bending it i really don't want to be doing that do i no probably not so i might have a couple of these along this area here who knows um finally i've got obviously the long-awaited new scalpel blades which i really do need because it's butchering the um or the foam board when i try and cut it now what i always do with this and i can't do it on camera because uh i'm holding it at the minute i haven't got it in the camera holder is I always push the blade into, can I do it? <laughs> Sorry about this, so unprofessional. Push the blade into the foam board like that, and then wrap it up, because even though this is blunt for cutting plasterboard, plasterboard, foam board, it is still really, really sharp. And if you put it in your bin bags or whatever, then it could potentially cause someone a nasty accident. So always make sure that's poked in there. I'll run a little bit of tape around it 
and um, pop that in the bin. Safety is key, people. Safety is key. Um, but I've seen it firsthand where the guys out collecting the rubbish have been cut by something like this or a bit of glass that's just been chucked in a bag. So those sort of things stay with you. Um, so today, I don't know how long I've got. Um, I'm going to start on building this kiosk. Um, this has had a coat of black. I don't think that was on before. I've put this up. This needs painting black. On the inside, sorry, on the inside, on the outside, I think I'm going to put sticks and brick, printed out brick, across there and maybe on the front of the wall I'm not quite sure because you can't really see it from back here but i might do that might do that but for now i'm going to work on this and uh and the second part of the project is going to be the barriers around the edge so let's crack on okay so we've got the shell of the kiosk and that's how it's going to sit something like that the roof i'm not going to glue the roof on because i'm going to put some detail side so that will sit on there and then when you need to get to the power base you can just lift it off and away it goes a little bit wobbly but that's because this bit's uneven below but it'll be okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it all a coat of white paint to start off with because i'm not sure what color it's going to be i think it's going to be brown and white it's a bit sort of coffee related isn't it brown and white cappuccino -y. um silver supports yeah so i think we'll go for a basic white coat first paint these up silver see how it looks and then we'll make some uh we'll make some decisions okay i think we're gonna just about call it a day for today so this is we oh, yeah shadow from the light isn't great so this was here before so were the steps so i've worked on the kiosk and you will see that it is um sitting in its place it's up on its legs at the back it's got little um little exit pathway onto the decking stainless steel door that silver paint is quite good to be fair as far as uh silver acrylic paint goes if i turn the light off uh, no you're not going to be able to see in there how am i going to do this by putting the light on and shining the camera without blocking it there you go <laughs> There you go, so that's that's a start. That is the start of the kiosk. And uh, what we're going to do is get, obviously, a sign at the top and we're going to get menu boards and uh, dress it up a little bit inside. But I think, for the time being, I think we've got the structure there. It's had a coat of paint. It's looking pretty cool. And uh, I'll carry on another day. So I'm going to lock up the shed and I'll be back to finish off. Well, I think we're going to call it a day for this video because I don't want them to go on too long because there's a lot more to do that I think would be better suited overlapping it into another video. So, really pleased with progress. We've actually we've got the deck painted with a timber effect. We've got the coffee kiosk built with a little bit of interior detail and you've even got Daisy Duke serving you coffee. I mean, that's going to put a couple of quid on the price of a cuppa, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased. So next time round, what have I got to do? Well, I'm going to put some brickwork on the sides here and on the other side. I'm going to put the barriers around the decked area. And also, when I said earlier I was going to use these for lampposts, I'm going to do something a bit different because <clears throat> I'm going to cut them. Oops, helps if you put the camera on it. I'm going to cut them about here, I think, and then place them around the decking somehow. So it looks like it's those pillar light columns, you know, the ones that will sort of stick out about this high. A bit like a bollard with a lamp with a light in the top. And then with LED lights in the top, and it can all get tidied up under the decking which will be easier to do and then drop a wire down and connect it into the feed below i think that'll look really effective but that's quite time consuming and would definitely uh sit better on the next video so i'm going to call this a day it's a work in progress come back for part two please and if you like all this uh why not subscribe and give me a like i love it when you give me a like um <laughs> thanks for watching guys 
You all take care, my friends. Bye-bye now.